Hello again, Dommy Trophy, and welcome to another video. And uh, this one's going to be something video game related. Now, as you can see, I've got a Wii U magazine here, and you might be thinking, Dominic, why have you got a Wii U magazine there? Now, I've actually had this for a while, and a user on my channel actually asked me if I would do some sort of um, review, like look inside the magazine and stuff, and show, you know, what's in it. And, um, I. A you um a subscriber on my channel called Channel actually asked about I'd love to see uh, about the Wii U magazine and he'd love to see what's inside it and he asked me said would you ever do that video and I said I want to actually because uh, there's actually a lot of interesting stuff in here that um I want to talk about in this magazine and um, so I thought well I want to do this I want to do a review about this magazine, talk about it, and really show what's inside it. So, uh, I just want to say, uh, channel, hope you look forward to this video, and uh, thank you for the request. So, I'm going to give you a shout out here, because I think you um, definitely chose a good topic for me to talk about. So, um, let's get on with it. So, on the front of it, it says Nintendo, Next Generation Nintendo Wii U Special Edition. Uh, free with official Nintendo magazine and August 2011 and it's got a photograph of the Wii U gamepad with the circle pads uh, which was original design for it until they changed it to the um, the main um, analog sticks that we have today so yeah that's good game changer the Wii U a revolutionary new way to play new console new games new controller and it's got an image of the Zelda HD experience. Let's take a look in the goods. Um, you've got a photograph of someone drawing on the gamepad itself. On this side you've got someone talking about the Wii U, introducing Wii U. Wii U, we, <laughs> we knew uh, Nintendo's next console would be more than a beefed up Wii. But we had no idea it'd be this. Wii U is yet another perfect example of why it's so exciting to be a Nintendo fan. With DS, Nintendo took the world by storm with an innovative touchscreen and boundary breaking software. We introduced that iconic motion sensing controller. Uh, with uh, that in <laughs> that controller, 3DS pioneered 3DS without glasses games and always on community connectivity. And now with Wii U, the potential is limit limitless. Read on to discover how Nintendo's next console will transform the way the world plays video games all over again. Editor-in-chief, uh, Neil Long. And then you got the logo there, of the Wii U. The controller. Nintendo's latest technology, technological marvel revealed. D-pad, speakers, shoulder buttons, and it just shows someone holding, holding the controller with the shoulder buttons. The Wii U controller offers a brand new way to play games on a home console, taking the best elements from previous Nintendo controllers, handheld and tablet computers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say so, it'd be good though. It was good. And then it shows a picture of the controller with the, you know, the original analog sticks that it had. The D-pad, the A, B, X, Y buttons, camera. A start and select home button and the power button. So yeah. Being good sports. Batter up. I've got it. Having a ball and a stroke of genius. More ways to play. <coughs> new hardware, new controllers, new gaming possibilities. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's um I think that that was a thing with with the Wii U it, it did have a lot of possibilities. You don't even need to have the TV on to play with Wii U. That's true. I played a lot of Wii U on the gamepad itself which was nice. Home improvements, video chat, picture sh sharing, simple but fun. And then it shows someone holding the Wii U gamepad sideways. Stylus, painting, Browse, and but that's not all, and that's not all. No TV required, privacy granted. Sight for sore eyes, you're a star. Play on the gamepad. The Wii U experience, 
an early ga gap, I think that's the pronounce that, into the future of Nintendo gaming. And it just shows a demo of the Chase Me game, which was on the Nintendo land uh, uh, for Wii U. Just shows a few people playing it and someone playing on the gamepad. And then it shows someone playing the um, the Metroid demo, uh, the Metroid mini game from the Wii U. Um, you know, playing with Wii Motes and a gamepad. Then it shows about motion and you know the motion control and stuff. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. An old friend gets a new life, lease of life on Wii U. Nintendo intends to resolve all those arguments over the TV. That is a good point. <laughs> yeah, it's actually not a bad game, you know, New Super Mario Bros. U. I'll have to play that again. Uh, I quite like it. And then it shows it on the, the gamepad itself. HD Mario in your hands. It makes us want to weep with purest joy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> the Legend of Zelda HD Experience. Dazzling high definition visuals, Nintendo style. This is the stuff dreams are made of for Zelda fans. Think seeing Ocarina of Time in Glorious 3D without glasses is a treat. It was a treat. Somehow it looks lovelier on the controller than it does on the TV. Switching between the TV and the Wii U controller. Controller screen is seamless. Switch. I think we all know where that came from. The Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Forthcoming attractions. The best Wii U games in development right now. Killer Freaks from Outer Space. Now, for those that wondered about that game, you might be thinking, what is this game? It actually turned out to be Zombie U. Uh, the original idea of Killer Freaks from Outer Space was, was going to be um, about shooting aliens and all that sort of stuff. But it turned out that people didn't like the idea, so Ubisoft actually changed it into zombies. So that's what actually happened. A first-person shooter with a lashing of lapstick humour. I would have loved to have played that. I think it would have been good. Um, I actually did watch the demo once I read this bit in the magazine. It looked pretty cool. Uh, Ghost Recon Online. Unfortunately, a game that was not released for the Wii U. I think it was released on PC, so it was. An online world of epic... Or an, an online world of epic firefighters and gadgetry. It looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, I think the game was released on PC, and I think uh, Ubisoft, I think they discontinued it, or took the servers down. Because, obviously, with it being online only, that's the thing about it. <sighs> Alien Col Colonial Marines. Uh, that wasn't released for the Wii U, but it was released for PS3, 360, uh, PC. Ninja Gaiden, that was released for the Wii U, the third one, uh, Razor's Edge. Batman Arkham City, I have played that, actually. It's actually not a bad game. All the ingredients are here for another Bat Classic. And Assassin's Creed. Which, there were three, two Assassin's Creed games on the uh, Wii U. Uh, there was Assassin's Creed 3 from launch, and then there was Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Pick one free. Yeah, you can't beat uh, Pikmin 3. It's actually a good game. Uh, uh, the Pikmin games are good. I've not played the one on the 3DS yet, but I want to uh, definitely try that out. I've played the demo, though, so, uh, yeah. And Metro Last Light, which was planned for the Wii U, but didn't get released. So, Fractions Fight for Territory Among decrypt, um, Decrypted uh, Tube Stations. Yeah, I've never played that one, so... Um, on this side, it just um, talks about Shigeru Miyamoto and Satori Wata talking and revealing about the Wii U and stuff. This is an opportunity for games that were considered car to evolve some into something more interesting. Yeah. Hmm. And the last page is someone drawing Link uh, on the gamepad and showing on the TV. 
which is actually quite funny because you think about the the beginning of the magazine it showed someone starting to draw it so <laughs> yeah so that's uh, quite interesting though best to say like from start to finish you're gonna think that yeah that's actually quite nice that <laughs> and on the back of it it just says wii u coming in 2012 so yeah um the wii u magazine <laughs> I just want to say, hope you enjoyed this video, especially all, all of you that like the Wii U, and even if you're not interested about it, I hope you enjoyed it and just wanted to see what's inside the magazine. Um, so I just want to say, thank you very much for watching, uh, thank you very much channel for giving me the, this request to do this video, um, definitely appreciate it and I'm definitely glad to give you a shout out. As well as another person I want to give a shout out to is Agent Aiden 7 who um, has actually given me several ideas about reviews and stuff, um, other game consoles and stuff. Because um, he asked me to do a review of like the PS3 and the 360 and other stuff. So um, I definitely will be doing that, you know what I mean, as soon as possible, Aiden. Um, Agent Aiden 007. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked the content that's in this magazine. Um, just to let you know if you don't all know, uh, there'll be no video tomorrow uh, because I did state in the one I did on Saturday that with it being my uh, mum's um, birthday, my granddad's as well, granddad's as well. Uh, there'll be no video tomorrow evening because obviously I'm going out of family. So um, my, ne my next video will be on uh, this Friday coming, which will be an Alex Francis sketch. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye. See you later. Bye. Wii U. A great console. And we all salute you. See you later. Bye. Wii U.